So yes, here has one of the best waffles I've ever eaten anywhere else in Trinidad. What's up, my Trinbago Vibe peeps? Welcome to another episode of Trinbago Vibes. And I'm gonna start this run right here at the Red Road, if you wanna call it. That's right here in Chagaramos, yeah. Uh, best view there. So yeah, but in this one, all right, well, after I do this jog, so to speak, we are going for some chicken and waffles. Today's an early Sunday morning, right here in Trinidad. So yeah, so let me go finish this one and then let's get to this Trinbago vibes. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Ooh, not bad, 45 minutes. Drug. All right. You know what time it is? Foodie time. Right now we in town, I'm driving. Oh my gosh, the sun is blazing. I mean, if I wanted doubles, I could get doubles, eh? But I'm feeling for like some waffles and, I don't know, some fried chicken. And everywhere up on this side that sells this is closed, Dread. So might as well I go, you know, head home, take a shower, change some clothes, pick up the wife and head to a spot I know would be open or two spots actually that should be open now. Now I know some other spots that would be open this early on a Sunday morning but you know I'm not really feeling to drive to the east in this one that's why we are here at the Hyatt Regency Hotel. I'm with Julia Mean and we just pull in the car park here and have real cars here yeah, for boy. a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Wow. And like, car just coming in and parking. <laughs> so yeah, so let's head on there. Imagine we came all this way for chicken and waffles. I've been telling her this is fancy chicken and waffles. I mean, yeah, but it's the only place open. So, <laughs> we have no Sadly. choice. The lights in here, bud. No, your side did. Look at that. Look at that. That's why I asked if you want to come here, you know. I should probably come there, you know. Yeah, go there. Look how good I look. Let me just take us out. Yeah, take us out, take us out. Right, they have buffet going on down there, but we ordered this chicken and waffles from the a la carte menu. Basically, the waterfront restaurant normal menu. Yeah, and we didn't do the breakfast. Yeah, so this is what I'll call fancy chicken and waffles. Must dip in some sweet syrup. Look at that drip. And they also serve tamarind sauce with this, which is kind of interesting. The waffle was crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside and the chicken could have used a little more seasoning. Right, it tastes almost bland, strange enough. The maple syrup, of course, is sweet and the tamron adds a tang in it. It's, it's different and it's a little spiced it, but overall it was okay. It was good. I mean, the waffle saved it. But yeah, so these chicken and waffles at the Hyatt Regency Hotel. Yeah. Okay, so this is one of only two spots and we just recently discovered this. Right, that we could have gotten chicken and waffles and this is the a la carte menu so this is not like they have a buffet breakfast here in the morning which most people would come to but we just came to order the chicken and waffles so and the cost of that is here all right so let me just check all the next spot which takes us back to where i ran this morning in Shagaramas. well the tucker valley road this relatively new spot called Yupik. now this is our first time here so first time trying them out so let's see how their chicken and waffles measures up to like the Hyatt wow looks like they grow their own stuff by a good bit of this stuff right here so that's pretty cool though almost like a farm to house kind of scene and yes this is Sunday morning and it is packed it is busy like I would recommend you call ahead and make a reservation I'll leave the number here yeah, and I think that is the best thing to do on a Sunday. Thankfully, we got lucky. We didn't make no reservation this wrong, but it just so happened that as soon as we arrived, our table was available. But normally, like the wait time is long, and they have both indoor and outdoor dining. Now, this is how their outdoor dining looks like without anybody. Because you know, no, you know, always do it. If it's nice, do it twice. But we'll come back to that just now. So yeah, we just placed the order. We are inside. We're in this little corner here. Behind us is the bamboo spot where people come out and eat on the outside, but it is crowded. All right, this order took about 20 minutes to reach, which is not too bad given the Sunday crowd. 
and this looks scrumptious. Julia got an omelette which also looks delicious. Alright, let's dig in. Yes. The waffle is really nice. The combination of this chicken and waffles is superb. The chicken is fried nicely, or the outside is crunchy. The inside is nice. But it's this still. This really nice. That tastes really, really good. Yep, I think this first time in a long time, I actually finished a whole chicken and waffles. Like, wow. Normally, I will leave back because I'd be full halfway through. But today, I look like I was real hungry. I didn't even use the syrup that they have here, which is good. Yeah, because that blueberry compote was delicious. Now, if you want to see what their menu is like, you can you know, scan this thing here. So, lead you to the their menu or check the link in the description below I'll leave that there as well don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already if you're enjoying this trade bigger vibes all right now this is a juice shot it's called a fire meal and it sounds spicy yeah. I smell it I want to put it I want to put it next to me yeah. 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 now this is a regular watermelon juice oh thank you thank you so much for your and yes, we also ordered some apple pie and custard. It looks and smells delicious. Wow. This is a very good, rich apple pie. I can't finish this right now, but it's nice. All right, back to the shot. I see the thing here, But yeah, yeah, I feel you. Fire me up shot looks like a homemade remedy for any ailment that you may have. They clean up sinus, they clean up any chest conditions, they do everything. Well, overall, so far, so good. Now we just wait for the bill. You pick right here in Shagaramas. Their chicken and waffles are slightly better than here, for sure. Two weeks later. Alright, so in case you come here during the week and you see the gate is closed, don't worry, just continue along this road and you'll come out on the next side. So yeah, so those are two ways of reaching inside. In case one gate is closed, they are not closed. I mean, unless you reach the next side and that gate is closed too, well then yes, they are closed. Now, Yupik is basically a breakfast all day kind of restaurant, but they also have fresh produce on sale. Rambutan dread. Let me know in the comments below if you ever had this before. Alright, time for round two. Got me their hot chocolate this time and they also have their own pepper sauce, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so here has one of the best waffles I've ever eaten anywhere else in Trinidad. But it's, it's kind of strange though. So as you can see, the outfit changed. Right now the place is empty because we came back again outside the Sunday. Because Sunday <laughs> was busy but somehow or some strange way the food is slightly better on the busier day than like on a regular day such as now so that's very funny and kind of strange but it was still good though i'm like it was it was some good food this time i had the bagel and salmon and that was the bagel was a little crispy it's a little hard and but that salmon was really, really nice though i mean it's hard to mess up salmon anyhow so yeah train bagel vibes hope you enjoyed that one don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one. You could check out this here if you haven't seen it yet, and till the next one, I'll go on. Later.